Elsewhere, who really benefits from the new Obama Presidential Center? Tonight, some answers in a meeting packed with concerned community members. Here's CBS 2's Dana Kosloff. The King College Prep High School marching band helped kick the Obama Foundation community meeting into high gear as people filled the McCormick Place Hyatt Ballroom to hear and see plans for Jackson Park's Presidential Center. But what are you hoping to hear tonight? What I'm hoping to hear is what's going to happen with our property taxes, what kind of jobs are they going to bring, and how is it going to help our community? Some waited all night to attend, hoping the foundation would sign the Community Benefits Agreement, ensuring President Obama's library will help, not hurt Southside residents. Foundation Vice President Michael Stratmanis says to start, the project will bring 5,000 jobs to the site. We want those jobs filled by people of color, by black people on the south and west side of Chicago. It's the place where I met Michelle and where Michelle grew up. The former the president even surprised the crowd via Skype, stressing his desire that the center benefit the south side first, the entire city next. And Stroutmanis insists it isn't just talk when it comes to keeping the community members involved and in place. If they want to help us bring jobs, if they want to help us keep people in these communities, we need their help. We want their participation. So to answer the question these protesters have, who benefits? Foundation officials say they're also asking prospective builders to outline exactly how they plan to hire residents and businesses from Woodlawn and nearby neighborhoods as a condition of getting the project. Rob, Erica. Yeah, they heard a lot of information tonight. What was the reaction from the residents after they had this meeting? They, they feel a little more at ease, but, you know, they're waiting to see what really happens. Okay, yeah. Dana, thank you.